Just annoyed more so that your detective did something that he probably regrets now. I'm and not... that, and that you all probably would not have told him to do. Don't interrupt this particular investigation or this particular hearing because what you did is you just now created a wrinkle that that now I got to deal with or whether or not he's whether or not the defendant has invoked his right to counsel. He has. And your honor, I'm not I'm not um, annoyed. Your honor, I just have with the burden of proof, we have a person who can speak to the issue rather than having us, you know, sort of speculate as to what happened, because it's not as the court at this time has indicated that it sees, which is that we softened him up with. I'm ruling, that's my ruling. I'm, and prepare an order suitable in my directives. Mr. Yes, Your Honor. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Mr. Uh, Your Honor, we have not presented any evidence regarding what happened in the Sally Court. Would the court permit the state to present evidence of what happened when they went upon the defendant's request to get a cigarette? Ms. Love, I, I'm of the opinion, it's not going to change my mind at this point in time, in terms of because he's invoked, anything after that would be improper. It really would be. Because he, he's, un, I mean, it'd be one thing if he said, well, maybe should I get a lawyer? Maybe should I do whatever this? Or, you know, kind of, unequi uh, you know, kind of, uh, kind of make, vacillate. But he's, he's pretty significant in the sense of, I need to talk to my lawyer. I don't want to talk to no one. And, Your Honor, our case law shows that even when that happens, when the defendant reinitiates the conversation and communication, that... the court found that those statements made after the defendant initiates, con reinitiates conversation, as unequivocal as his initial assertion was, when the defendant init reinitiates the conversation, the statements that he makes are not to be like to present actual evidence to show under a totality of the I've circumstances. Heard, I got the evidence. It's been admitted. The two, the two, st the, the two, um, videotapes are sufficient for the court's analysis at this point in time. So, yeah. That's else? your ruling. Thank you. I have nothing to add, Your Honor. Right. And, Your Honor, the, what happened with the Sally Port, the conversation being reinitiated by the defendant, that, that actually happened, and we have the proof here to show it to the court. Well, based upon what you've argued so far, um, and that in this particular circumstance, um, this yep. court, this court's of the opinion that once you, once, you, I mean, it's like this. Once you initiate your right, or you revoke your right to, uh, to, to be examined to have later evidence independent of this, I'll consider it at the appropriate time. And we, and we do, and that is what I was asking. So, if the court will permit me to actually introduce the evidence. Uh, evidence that we have as the court in State versus Paldo 309 Georgia 130 where it says a suspect who asks for a lawyer at any time during a custodial interrogation um, may not um, be subjected to further questioning until the suspect reinitiates the conversation and in that they are citing Dozier versus the state 306 Georgia at 35 your honor Edwards versus Arizona and a few moments later evidence that I believe that the state is entitled to present and the court is entitled to hear in the form of testimony and I understand he wants us to hurry along and not hear detective Thorpe because that might be an adverse um, position or evidence to his client's position but we are simply asking that the court allow us the opportunity to present the evidence and to not hold it against the state that I am asking this, You're... that the court allow us to present evidence that this statement was made voluntarily and that the fact that he ceased it but then reinitiated it is something that the court should consider. And, and Your Honor, I, I do not, I don't like drawing the court's ire. It's, you know, quite disturbing. But I cannot, I cannot in good faith not present evidence when we have a whole burden of proof to show the court that it was made freely and voluntarily. And when, ha when the evidence that we have is sitting right outside the courtroom. And I, the court's whole purpose for having these hearings is to determine the truth and to decide what is fair 
And without hearing from Detective Thorpe, I don't know how the court can discern, discern what the truth of the matter is, hearing only a portion of a recording and not hearing from the people who were actually standing there talking to and listening to the defendant. Unless without hearing Detective Thorpe, the court is making a credibility judgment before even hearing what he has to say. May, may I please speak? Please, may I please speak? Your Honor, yes. I, I was asking you, that the court- are, are you finished, Madam? I was not, Your Honor. I was Your not. Honor, hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, you got 30 more seconds, wrap it up. And Your Honor, I'd ask again the court for the opportunities for the state to be able to. Later. I'm sorry, I'm talking Your Honor, and I don't know why point, I am being interrupted. I will not stop. Be Your Honor, I was speaking. 2,000 years later. Your Honor, I apologize for interrupting the state earlier, but the state can talk the ears off a donkey. This continued filibustering has got to stop so that opposing counsel can speak. The, your rulings at some point have got to be final, Your Honor. Whether you hear from Detective Thorpe or not is irrelevant. He requested his lawyer, he invoked his right to not speak anymore, and I don't care what schmoozing Detective Thorpe did out at the Sally Port, taking my client off camera, I don't know what went on down there. I don't know what self-serving, well, I have some idea. I don't know what self-serving statement Detective Thorpe could possibly give to this court that would cause the court to change their order. This continued going back whenever the state loses in this case has got to stop. Oh! Ew! Ew! Uh, let's call it in the crossfire.